Hey guys. Hello everybody. We got hungry for one of those VFW tenderloin sandwiches and it's been raining all day. Yep. So we decided, you know what? We got a little pork left over from our tacos the other night. Let's make it at home. We're gonna try it out at home, so it shouldn't be too hard, but this is what we're gonna do. show you what we got. I got some really thin cut uh, pork that we used for our tacos al pastor the other night. This is a little bit left from our market uh, buy we had the other day. It's real lean. It's got a little fat but that's okay. Um, I started this for, before I decided to go ahead and, and film this for you because I thought you know what what if somebody wants to make one of those delicious tenderloin sandwiches at home? What would you do? I started with this mother's breading mix. You can get any breading mix you want, but it has to have some crunch to it. Anytime I've done a breaded fillet of pork or chicken that I wanted to uh, fry, I always add crackers, but I didn't have crackers. What I had was these picnic uh, little crunchy fr uh, fries. They're like little potato uh, sticks. So I blended them up into a powder and I added it to my breading mix. So we're gonna see how that goes. It's pretty tasty. I ate a few of them out of the can. Uh, but we're gonna make a breading out of this and see how that goes. We okay. got us some buns. We got a big old buns next door here at the little bakery. A uh, little store, they have some nice baked products. We got some leaf lettuce. Got some sliced uh, yellow onion. If I had a white onion, I would eat that, but I have yellow. Uh, but then I've got some little tomatoes too we sliced up. So that's pretty much what's going on there for garnish. Over here, we got some egg and milk mixture, salt and pepper to do the, do the breading one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire up this grease. I got me some coconut oil in here. I like using this coconut oil. It's more healthy. And, and it fries good. It's pretty good. It's gonna be a simple, simple process here. I'm gonna spread out my, my, my mixture potato and breading mixture. Do the old dip. Donk. And bread. That's what we do. We want a nice thin sandwich. I might have to get some more bread because I might make more than two sandwiches here. We're gonna have extra meat, that's for sure. Make it bigger by BF, BFW. Make it bigger? How am I going to make it bigger? I don't know, with double Force meat. The, oh, double meat. Yeah, we can do that. Triple it up. I'm going to test my grease. I don't think it's ready yet. Not quite. No, not Close. yet. Good thing about this uh, gas stove, heats up quick. Forgot to mention, mm -hmm. got to have some dill pickles. And we got it right there next door. <laughs> yeah. So that's a little store here. Had some like homemade deal pickles. I opened it up and tried one. They're deal, all right. Mm. I was afraid they were going to be sweet. And last but not least, you got to have a little mayo. Of course. Put some mayonnaise on it. Real mayo. Should be everything to make these sandwiches delicious. Crunchy. This will be all crunched up here. Here we go. I hear it popping, so I think we're ready to drop one in. We'll be eating a sandwich before you know it. Yeah, that's perfect. Mm. Get another one in. Get two of those going. Right in the oil. Mmm. Looks good. Yep. Shouldn't take too long. They're so thin, shouldn't take too long to cook. Mm hmm. They're very thin. I'm gonna have to run for another bun, puppy. I think we might need two more buns because I might eat two of these. Mm. You got a taste for that, you know. When you get a taste for something, you just, you know, until you get tired of eating it, I just want to keep eating it. I'll get tired of it eventually, but right now, we love those tender one sandwiches over this DFW. Delicious. That's delicious. one of my favorite sandwiches here. Oh, yeah. Bring back memories. My dad used to bring those home when I was a kid from the tavern in Indiana. He 
bring home some, uh, I don't know where he got the cheese tray from. He bring us like a cheese plate and tenderloin sandwiches. I don't know, from the local tavern in southern Indiana he'd always go to. I, I wonder if they're the still open. Oh, I doubt it. You think? We can Google it. Best tenderloin <laughs> sandwich in Indiana. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Uh oh, this stuff's getting getting uh okay, papi, yeah. getting to where I need to tend to it before I burn it. All right, let's get this flipped over. Here we go. Oh, perfect. Okay. Perfect. perfect. Perfect color. That's what you want right there. Like I said, I, I did salt and pepper the egg mixture, so that's going to have some. That's going to have some uh, salt, but I'm going to throw a little salt on top too. Hold on, just in case. Just a little bit. This flavoring, uh, this mother's. I've used it before. It's seasoned, so it shouldn't need too much salt. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Smelling good. Looking good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. We need more bonds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least maybe tomorrow we'll have leftovers. We'll grab some more bonds. We'll eat one tonight. Maybe tomorrow for lunch we'll have some. Mm. We'll cook it all up tonight. Oh yeah, we have to. Clean the mess today. Yeah. Enjoy. Something like this can be heated up in a toaster oven or in your oven. Yeah. And almost come out, you know, like the day you made it because it's got that breading on it. Yeah, it get crunchy again. Just don't microwave anything like that, you know? No, I never use the microwave yeah. for stuff like that. Some people, they eat the pizza in the microwave. I don't like uh, it. Yeah, well, you just got to, I prefer it the other two. You got to do what you got to do. You want to eat on the go, you want to eat, you got limited time, you got microwave it. Have I can run to the store. Yeah, we packed it. Little breading's available everywhere. So with those little potatoes. So what happened? We're trying not to buy a lot of stuff and it gets old. We have to throw it away. Ah. You know, it's easy to just go across the street or go to 7-Eleven and get whatever you need. Yeah, just buy what you need for now. Yeah. You never know what you might pick up and go. You never know, baby. All right, this is looking good. Oh, yeah, Bobby. I might turn it down a little too much. Just turn up the heat a little bit. That's probably done. I don't want to burn it, but crispy's good. These sandwiches, when they're crispy. Oh, yeah, it's better. It's Tastes better. I think this will Please. do for now. We cook these four pieces. We got a little bit extra for it. Another sandwich or two later. These four here, gonna make it. All right, this one's done. Nice and crunchy. Yeah, it might not look as good as that VFW one, but it's pretty good for a homemade deal. I think. Mm. Looks pretty good. It looks good. good to me. Good and crunchy. Here comes the second ones. Yeah, second sandwich is coming in. Yeah. There we go. Anyway, while that's cooking, we're going to go ahead and get our, get our buns ready. These bakery buns aren't cut, so we've got to cut them. I noticed that. They never cut them. Yeah, that's all right. They're fresh, though. Oh, yeah, they are. Nice and soft. I kind of like the Bingo's bread over in uh, Barreto. Over in Subic, but that baker is that's delicious. Hard to beat the bingos over there. Mm -hmm. This is good stuff right here. This is going to be delicious, honey. Are you ready to eat? You I, ready am, to eat now? I am, Papi. I am. Because I can hook you up. You want cheese on yours? Mm. No, no, no. I just want it exactly you have the way. Time to change your mind. A little bit of lettuce. Yes, I already washed this. Okay. Pre-wash, pre-wash. I washed it the other day before I put it in this bag. You know what? We we don't eat that kind of a lettuce very often, but I like it. It's good. Put some lettuce on here. I'm going to put a couple of these uh, tomatoes. tomato slices on here. 
got to have some tomatoes. You're going to put your big old slice of onion on top. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. I ran out of mayonnaise, so I bought this little pack. I'm going to put some mayonnaise right here. Just a little. <laughs> here you go, baby. You are first. Oh, baby. Thank Always. You. Look oh, at that yeah, sandwich. Look at that. You Look at that sandwich. It must be better than, than BFW. Look at that bad boy right there. That mm -hmm. is a sandwich. I can wait, puppy. I right. can wait. All right, you go ahead and let me oh know what you God. think. That's bigger, not... that's bigger than your head. I know it is. Mm. Pretty good? Yes. Good job, puppy. Mm. All right. Mm. Didn't take that long either. Mm. I got to turn my meat over here. Perfect timing on the meat turn. Oh, so it's pretty good, huh? It's a lot better. Let me see where you took the bite out of it. Let me see what that looks like. Mm. That looks like a TV commercial. You really bite. That looks yeah. like a TV commercial, how it looks on TV before they display it. And you never get it like that in the mm. restaurant. It's always a big, big show. But oh you saw God. you saw me make this. There was no prep. There was no uh, taking time to present this thing any special way. This is the package. This is what you get when I make a tenderloin sandwich right here. Oh my God, Eric. You, you, you should have put it restaurant. <laughs> I ain't got time for that. I ain't got no time for no restaurant. You kidding you me? You know what? We can do that in our camping. Tenderloin sandwiches and camping? That's a lot of trouble. I like hot dogs better. <laughs> Man, I forgot the pickles on here. Mm. I couldn't, what I knew I was missing something. Lift that bun up there. Let's get some pickles on here. Mm. Now you get, now you get what it's meant to be. We're gonna throw some dill pickle. You gotta have dill pickle on this to make this right. Yep, that's what we're missing. Mm. Perfect. Okay, right. spread those out on there. Yeah, here, put one more on there. There you go. Mm. Dill pickles, gotta be. Now take a bite. Now you're gonna really have to taste it with the flavors, the onion, the pickle, the mayo. Mm. That makes a difference, right? Mm -hmm. Definitely pickles. <laughs> All right, my sandwich is done now. Let me get this off the grease. Yeah, that's good. Good and done. Perfect, puppy. Yeah, they look mm. pretty good. Turn this heat off. Okay. I'm gonna flip this over and get soak some of that grease off of there. It's all hanging off of there anyway. I'm gonna start with pickles because right, I'm not gonna forget. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna start with pickles. Technically, that's how you probably should start a sandwich anyway. Pull a pickle or two right on there. Dill pickle. Um, then I'm gonna do the onion. I'm gonna throw some lettuce. Tomatoes. 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 Tomatoes? Tomatoes. I'll put some tomatoes on there then. <laughs> right here. Mm, mm, mm. Like that. Mayo. To this bad boy right here. Oh, baby. Oh, well, everybody's out there saying, look at the damn amount of mayonnaise he put on there. Oh, I need it. I said, I tell you what, look at this. It needs it because it's, um, Look at the sandwich. That's why. Yeah. No, and not only that, the uh, bun is really thick. The yeah, bun is thick too. So you but it's have good. It. It's fresh. Oh there my go. God. This is like Master Chef product. There we huh? go. It's like a 
It's almost like a picture, like this. Look. It's like, here, let me do this. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't need uh, cheese. No doesn't way. Doesn't need cheese? No way, Jose. All right. We will ruin it. Okay, I'm going to try mine right here. This First looks, bite for Papi. This looks like a good spark, a good place to start right here. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can keep it all in one piece. Mm-mm-mm, <laughs> right? Mm. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Delicious. I wish you can try this one. Papi's very good copycat. Just do what I did. <laughs> Just do what I did. Mm, mm, mm. I'll still go back to the VFW because I don't have to make that one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but home version's pretty darn good. Don't oh, you think? it is. Home version's pretty good. Yeah. Mmm. Good idea, right? Absolutely, baby. You always have a good idea. See you guys on the next one. Hey. Make sure you guys subscribe right down here. Thank you for all those that are already subscribed and watch our videos. See you on the next See you next time, guys. No,